It was eight years ago that Democratic Republic of Congo's millionaire businessman Moise Katumbi made it clear that he wanted to be president. But circumstances delayed his ambitions. That is, until now. Congo's voters head to the polls on December 20th. It's not long until Katumbi finds out if it was worth the wait. Katumbi made a fortune in mining, transport and food processing before entering politics. For eight years, he was governor of the copper-rich Katanga province. I have experience. I'm not going to learn how to run a country. I ran Katanga province. It's the size of France. When his governorship ended in 2015, his presidential aspirations emerged. But the plan ran afoul with then-president Joseph Kabila. What followed was what Katumbi has called years of politically motivated persecution. He was forced to flee Congo in 2016 after Kabila's government accused him of hiring mercenaries in a plot against the government. I'm going back. I'm not scared about anything. I didn't do anything wrong. His return didn't happen until 2019, after Congo's last election. He had been pardoned by Felix Tshisekedi and initially joined with the incumbent president's Sacred Union Political Alliance. By the end of 2022, that union had soured. If I were in the place of the president of the republic, I would not be running for re-election because his track record is so negative. It's going to be a red card for the president. Katumbi is campaigning on his record as a former governor. He says he'll use his vast network of contacts to tackle issues such as insecurity, corruption and infrastructure challenges in the mining sector. Je vais... I'm going to bring back a strong economy in our country. Dans notre pays. Three other candidates in the presidential race have dropped their bids to back Katumbi, amid talks between opposition parties about uniting behind a joint candidate. But he's still running against a long list, including last election's runner-up Martin Fiulu and Nobel Peace Prize winner Dennis McQuaigie, in addition to Chisekedi. Nevertheless, he has emerged as an opposition frontrunner with financial clout. That gives him the ability to crisscross the vast country for rallies that have attracted large crowds.